Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to work on the main session. So before we do that, I want us to do something inside the CSS. Let's make this one five percent, and also by a bit dot small dash sidebar. Then A then P because over here when I want this one I want to hide this one so copy this one for me and paste it here then over here will be display P none so now go to your browser and let's check just refresh it so now I'll click on it then this one will be ease okay so now go to your index.html then over here will be our main session so this one will be class yt that page container Our main container or page container is up to the name that you are giving to it. Then over here will be Dave with a class of YT dash banner. Then over here will be an image. So over here the image is here. So to save can just copy this one and paste it here. Then realize that we have banner one, banner three, banner banner five. So we can choose the one that we want to use. We can choose any of them. I'm going to use this one banner.jpg this one banner.jpg then this one be banner okay so now go to your browser just refresh it correct so now let's style it so that it looks nice. So click over and refresh. Click on the plus icon. Give it a background color of ampersand F9, F9, F9. The padding left to be 17%. Padding right. To be two percent, then padding that top to be twenty PS. Then padding that button to also be twenty PS. Then transition to be all zero point three then is. So now I'll copy this one for me. Go to start the CSS. Over here, just paste it here. Don't forget to save it. Remove this one for me. Okay. So now I'll refresh it. But there is a problem. There is a problem. The reason being that we have now what the image, the image is causing a problem. So let's work on it. So first, let's work on the banner, which is this one. So copy it from here. 
yob dot mpct give it a rate of 100 percent then this one will be dot yt plus banner image the image over i give it a height of 250 ps then object fit we cover then width to be under percent then border dash radius to be 8 ps now refresh it so as can see why our logic has worked fine as can see why did it so now the next thing i want us to work on when you click on this one realize that there is a space over here which we don't want that so when the user click on this one i want us to attach a certain class to the content so go to your script.js yeah so when the user click on it what do you want to happen you need to first so this one be cons content that's main content main content is equal to document dot query selector what this one dot then paste it here then semicolon realize that we gave the yt dash margin container a padding left of 17 ps so when the user click on this one i want to decrease instead of 70 p i want the padding to be 7 ps that's seven percent so that's what we are going to implement so duplicate this one so copy and paste here so this one will be main content then this one will be padding left so copy this one from here go to style the css then over here will be dot padding left then over here we'll give it what padding left to be seven percent so just refresh it please so when i click on this one it's not working so what is the problem what is the click here and inspect this is so now I click on it again but this one is not working so what is really the problem go to your script.js the reason is being that you have not saved it that's why it's not working so save it now go to your browser just refresh it so now I click on it so as you can see by our logic is working fine correct so the next thing i want us to work on is this ones that's what i want us to work on all right okay so outside this one but inside the main element we also have another group so i'll call it session then in, over here i'll give it a class of yt dash list content and inside it i'll give it an element article so that's go by i'll have a class of yt dash video list then over here we have our a tag 
it's not going anywhere then inside it is our image inside this is our image so realize that if you go to your image we have thumbnail 1 thumbnail 2 thumbnail 3 thumbnail 4 so you can choose to use any of them either of them you can choose to use any so copy this one and paste it here asset images this one be tom nail dash one then this one be tom nail one one then inside the article again but outside the a tag we also have another session. This one where you have a class of B dash plus. So now I'll copy this one and paste it here. So over here, this one over here will be the channel name, channel profile name. So realize that over here, we have channel profile 1, channel profile 2, channel profile. You can choose to use any of them. So, so this one will be channel underscore profile 1. And this one be profile one. Okay. Then still inside the B that place. We have a div. So we have div with a class of what YT dash video info. So over here, we have our A tag, which is not going anywhere. I am learning. So that is the video description. So you can use a P tag for it. I'm just using a U tag so that it will be a link. Then this one will be P tag. The name. So you can just call it James. Then that is the name of the channel. Right. Then also views so 15k views then ampersand dll then semicolon then two days okay okay so don't forget to save it so now go to your browser just refresh it so as you can see this is what we have but this thing is not working that's why the thumbnail one is being displayed so let's check why from nail one dot png this one is png not jpg png so now refresh it easy okay so now this is what we have so now let's work on it so that it looks nice so how are we going to do it we are going to use css grid to do it so this one copy this one and paste it for three more times. Okay, so let's change certain stuff from here. So this one be thumbnail two. This one JPG. And this one be thumbnail two. Whether okay JPG is correct, so we can 
make this one easy web development then this one from new tray and this one become new four and this one become new five what about the channel okay so this one be ten dot jpg This one be eleven dot jpg and this this one over here be eight or six dot jpg okay so now go to your browser just refresh it okay so uh, everything is looking nice so now let's style it so that it looks nice. So this is what we are going to do. We are going to use CSS grid to position it neatly. So now click here and inspect. That is the list content. So click here. So go to okay so that we'll be able to see it here. So if I click on the plus side or copy this one. Go to your sources. So let's go to bottom sources. Let's go down. Why dot paste it here? So why will give it display to be great on this one? Giving it display great. We'll do nothing to it but as you can see why there is line numbers over here one and two as you can see why so over here i'll give it grade dash template dash columns so this one will repeat auto dash fit the main mass 250 ps then comma 1 fr so as you can see why but i want a space over here so i'll use grid gap so yeah over here give it Grid dash column so column gap so instead of we we'll say column dash gap so by I give it 16 ps okay click on this one If column, okay, so let's add the grid to it. Then over here, if we have margin dash top to be 15 ps, then grid dash row dash gap. To be 30 ps click here and inspect okay so click here copy everything from here go to style the CSS replace this one with a copy code so now the next thing I want us to work on is what? So 
the next thing I want us to work on is the thumbnail image. That's what I want us to work on. So copy this one from here. Go to style. So this one be dot. Then paste it here. Then in the image. Over here, the rate will be hundred percent. Further radius also be five years. So instead of making this one thumbnail, let's make it dot yt dash thumbnail. Okay, so now I'll copy this one from here. Go to index.html. Attach a class here. Then paste it here. Then here to the same thing, class. Then paste it here. Class, then paste it here. Class, then paste it here. Then here to the same to class, then paste it here. So now let's go to our browser just to refresh it. Okay, so now let's continue. The next thing I want us to work on. Okay, so this one. I want us to add additional style to this one. So over here we have dot yt dash video place dot d dash place. Then over here align items to be place start. Imagine top to be seven years. Then also have yt dash video place dot d dash place then image give it a rate of thirty five years margin dash right to be ten years then border radius to be fifty percent. Okay. So as you can see, this is what we have now. Everything is looking nice. So the next thing I want us to work on is the video info. That's what I want us to work on. So if you click here and inspect. This is the video info. So copy this one from here. Go to your sources. Then scroll down. So here, this one with dots, then paste it here. Give it a color to be ampersand F A F A F A. Then semicolon. Then font size to be 13 PS. We also have dot yt dot video info then a a is the link so over here we give it a color to be ampersand zero 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 then font dash weight to be six hundred then display to be block the margin dash bottom to be five years so copy everything from here 
go to just replace it down with a copy paste. Now go to your browser, just refresh it. Okay, so let's add three more distinct things, then we are cool to go. So go to index.html over here, copy this one and paste it for three more times. One, two, three. So this one will be profile, let's say 10. Oh no, I made a mistake. So control Z. This one. Copy this one. And paste it for three more times. So let's go and see how it's looking. Just refresh it. So let, let's change it. Let's change the profile images over here. So this one, let's make it 17. And this one, let's make it 10. This one, 8. And this one, nine so this one over here four and let's say this one will be eight again okay so let's refresh it so this one and this one is not working okay okay that's the profile okay so let's check and see whether we get a canal profile So this one eight. So let's make it seven. And this one will be four. So now let's refresh it. So now everything is looking nice, but it's not responsive. It's not responsive. It's not. So when you click here and click on, it's not responsive at all. And also when you check for, so click here. Let's toggle to the bottom. So in the next video, we are going to make it responsive. So that's what we are going to work on in the next video. So see you in the next video.